so first of all welcome uh, to this online session of sambhav 2.0 and we sure. uh, on behalf of the whole triple it ag community first of all i'd like to congratulate for your success of getting into uc davis for your masters you. uh, so let's jump right into the questions so you you have graduated from triple it ag and also got into uc davis for your masters so the simplest question first how are you feeling right now well uh, my feeling if i had to put in a single word i would say i am motivated motivated to work more uh, and also feel i am also feeling happy for myself that uh, i could make it into a place like uc davis and all the shortcomings i had in my previous educational journeys i think i would overcome all those things so it's a uh, simple i'm simply motivated to work more and work harder this time okay so i mean i remember from the campus that you were like intensively involved in the research throughout your undergrad so like when did you get motivated uh, for the research okay yeah the motivation question uh whenever someone puts me i would say that i had a very long history of how i picked up the field that i am interested in today it all began in high school when i started to simply explore computers what are they and uh, also did a few here and there uh, here and there things at the see the operating system i didn't know very uh, too much then naturally i started to play video games there and then i realized whenever i buy a new game i could run it this began i uh, began to ask the question why that made me to explore computer systems and gradually i could build up some interest on uh, systems and how these things work and finally the tipping point of my motivation i would say would be during the second semester of triple idg's curriculum when i was studying the subject called computer organization i felt that this is the thing i always wanted to do and thus i began a, a sort of research journey into my life i don't know whether it's an upward or downward spiral but the important thing is that i enjoy what i do so yeah that's it yeah that, that's amazing answer so like uh, one thing is that uh, so in our triple it g lot of people are doing ai or ml but you on the other hand focus heavily on computer architecture and computer organization in the research so what was that motivation so systems are the only things that interest me so it's just because of the interest i had it's nothing more than that i am also interested to some extent like uh, what i would say I, one of my fringe interests would be machine learning and artificial intelligence of course but uh, i always think that maybe systems is the place where i want to be and uh, through systems i just think of these things as stacked applications and through systems i am trying to explore these fields as well okay so like what's your plan so are you planning to go whole into the research even after your masters or like you're going one step one step yeah that's the plan okay no i am thinking to go for research i mean throughout my career and that's what i'm planning to do even after completion of my masters okay okay uh, so uh, one question that all of the people wanted to ask you is that so in our college uh, sorry in our institute we have on average 5 to 6 courses and 2 to 3 labs in throughout uh, up to 6th or 7th semester so how did you manage your research work research work with your regular courses okay to be honest i couldn't at least i couldn't do it till 5th semester i agree that course distribution in our institute may be a bit unbalanced at certain semesters for some people i do not deny that 
but uh, it's uh, what i'd say is that experience made me learn that in fifth semester i didn't do very good in uh, uh, in sort of academic wise and then i started to manage time so what uh, how i managed if you put it like that i would say that i became more attentive in classes it's not like i don't attend classes or anything like that i do attend them i almost regularly attend all the classes throughout all these four four years but there is this extra bit of attention that you need to put in your studies uh, uh, sorry put in the classroom so that on the day before exam you would remember around say 50% or 60% of the concepts that were taught in class and rest 40% is your own effort now <clears throat> putting this extra attention in class uh, makes us extract some time from our schedule and this time this particular time i'll spend into my research work so uh, yeah one thing i would not really suggest everyone to do but at times i became uh, 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 sorry at times i started to work late and uh, this is not a very good habit i do agree that but at, uh, in order to cope up with both the situations i had to use most time that i could make out from this 24 hour schedule and it's not like you will be working every day on that same schedule you will get some time and whenever you get time after completing one project you should manage this time in order to reframe your time timetable and uh, that's it that's how i started to manage time and after fifth semester i got at least grade a semester index of more than 9 so that's it okay uh, so uh, in our institute like lot of the advanced courses that other engineering college student take in their sixth or seventh semester we generally have it before our second year itself like uh, algorithms and data structures we completed by third semester and also we have a computer organization course in uh, third semester as well so like do you think the academic rigor of our institute help you to take re- research early on yes yes i would completely agree with that statement because uh, computer organizations as you know this uh, computer organization subject is usually taught in uh, i would say fifth or sixth semester in other in engineering institutes so you only get one year to work on this domain and at triple it i believe all of the most of the triple it's have this particular curriculum where you are taught computer organization in second semester so you get three years to work on this topic so there is this uh, uh, there is this time that has been extracted out from this arrangement and this is where i could make out most of my research work in this particular domain and uh, i would also say that courses like data structures and algorithms are put early on these give a very solid foundation to the student community at triple itg so i completely agree with your statement okay uh, okay so when did you realize that you want to go for uh a uh, ms abroad i mean you could have taken gate and studied in uh, some iit or maybe some other research institute in yeah. india so when did you realize that you want to go abroad yeah. so uh this particular motivation came when i was working on my research topics i started to gather information about uh, those research groups which are Uh, sort of famous in the domain of computer organization and architecture and then i found out that uh, in india we have best groups at iit delhi and iisc bangalore but the thing is these are i mean except for these two top groups other options are quite limited in india and also opportunities for such uh, opportunities in these research groups outside india uh has a larger benefit i would say because uh, the level of work they do is fundamentally different than what we do 
so i just wanted to get this experience of how they exactly work in this domain i mean uh, i've seen some e star conferences where it's uh, it's like picking up one very small idea but then you would present your findings or present your method in such a way that it becomes quite interesting the problem becomes quite interesting in itself it's like they try to solve those fundamental ideas and we also have them in india but the number of such groups are limited in india so i thought maybe it's better if i go for gre rather than gate okay so like uh, i was talking to some of your batchmate who are also going abroad for their studies specifically us so like most of them had deferred their admission to uh, 2021 so are you also joining in 2021 yes, or I'm, this year yes i'm joining in 2021 preferably i think i'll be joining in a spring semester not in fall semester because if i join in fall i'll be sort of dropping one complete year okay but even in spring semester i have a few months in my hands so i think i'll be spending in some research work here completing everything and then moving on in let's say march or april next year so like uh, are you still working on uh, some project with yeah. any of our professors i am finishing up all of my projects those are pending at the moment i started working on a few projects when i was at triple idg and uh, since i am out now i have a few pending projects still which i am completing as fast as i can now and maybe i'll be picking up a new project in this particular time frame as well because i have time so yeah okay uh, so like uh, one more question the lot of uh, people are asking is that like when did you started applying for the college uh, for in the foreign okay the, uh, the applications start i guess the portals open up in the month of september for the fall semester next year's fall semester and most of the applications that i did had a deadline in and around december except a few in the month of january and also if you are targeting european institutions then deadlines would be say around march or april okay uh, uh one of the major problem faced by indian student who are going abroad especially from the middle caste is that uh, funding part of the their master graduation masters so like how you are solving that are you working till march or like how you are are you getting any scholarship oh uh, no no uh not exactly i didn't really got any scholarships but what i am trying to find is a assistantship program at uc davis so if i am able to find one it may be a research in the assistantship or teaching assistantship or even project assistantship but if i am able to get either of these i mean any one of these then it will help me on the funding as aspect a lot because you know education abroad is costly and uh, living there is also costly so there are two things particularly involved one is the tuition fees and one is the living cost so if i could even make up money vi assistantships for either of them it will help me a lot okay so now the next set of questions are mainly going to about our institute triple it guwahati so the first question that came up was that like mention two most influential people on the campus that that have helped you it could be a people or it could be a group of people or maybe something about okay. the institute that influenced you throughout these four years okay so i cannot pinpoint exactly two specific people or things at triple itg but uh, what i uh, uh, means from what i got motivation is a simple thought i have seen there are people at triple itg who thinks that this is a new institute and we should i mean the group of people should dedicate themselves to work in order to make a name for the institute in the future or like dedicate their 
entire research work or entire uh, management in order for uh, uh, for the betterment of the institute so that the institute gets some kind of importance in the national level and uh, to be honest after observing <coughs> after observing people who are so much dedicated i got motivated myself as well i would like to say our director sir professor gautam morwa is one of those people i would also say my uh, guide dr deep shankar banerji on a uh, uh, means uh, who has also motivated me on this particular aspect and when dr shishindu sir was here in the campus he is particularly interested in the domain of computer architectures where he had his phd as well so after observing them i felt like maybe i should also step up alongside them and probably make a name for the institute and this is what has kept me going okay amazing that's amazing so uh, can you mention one thing that you going to miss about this institute or maybe you have already missing it so uh every experience that i had like if you particularly pinpoint the triple itg experience i had four years of it two years at a temporary campus and two years in the permanent campus what i would like to point out is that every single experience you have in either of these campuses are quite unique in themselves and it's absolutely true that i miss almost everything of triple idg starting from hostel life to the progressive work environment we had at triple idg the mess food not really mess food sorry <laughs> and uh what else i would say the way we were taught in classes starting from the most simplest thing i miss everything what i used to get at triple idg but i believe this is what life is you have to cherish each and every moment that you get and when the time comes i believe it's best to let go and move forward okay and uh can you mention one specific area you want our institute to grow apart from academic thing okay okay uh yeah that might be difficult for me because i have spent almost zero time in other activities than academic and research at triple idg but or maybe whatever yeah, sure, uh, whatever you like any area even acad- academic uh, not- anything no uh not on academic front but i would say that maybe we can invest some more in the sports culture that we have at triple idg and uh, probably make a name for ourselves in this domain as well now there are these uh, inter triple it meets and uh, i don't know whether uh, they are sending people last year or even last year i, I last last year i don't know that but what i would say is there should be some more investment on the athletes and players on uh, say if uh, like investment in the sense that for better equipments and better health so that they can compete on a national level in the upcoming years okay. now i have seen for any top institute in the country they have these uh, excellent athlete groups sports uh, uh teams in sports so what i would suggest we should follow up on same uh, on a similar line because i have seen talented people playing <coughs> for triple idg and uh, maybe with some more investment by the from the institute side they can probably claim some national level uh, uh what to say positions as well okay so i mean we have covered all the questions uh, maybe if you have some message for the juniors or maybe upcoming batches that you would like to tell so uh, i don't exactly have any particular message but uh, 
yeah i want to point out one thing that uh, our institute is a new institute we have to understand this fact and we have to work hard in order to make a uh, impact on the world i mean surely we can do by either going for research work or for uh, by uh, doing some competitive programming or even in domains like sports and athletics but <clears throat> in all of these ways we have to understand that we have to work hard so that we are able to achieve that in the future and uh, also uh, there are things on the academic side which i always felt lacking in our institute for example the number of electives that we get i think the number of electives should be increased so that everyone gets to study sorry students get to study a large number of domains through electives and then decide what is the best field they want to work in and uh, yeah those are the things that i wanted to say finally okay so thank you kostal for joining us and you have been a true inspiration for all of us yeah. so and we wish you good luck for your future endeavors and we'll hope to see you back on campus really soon